Oh, hello. Welcome to Scognitz, where I talk about the crafty things that I've been working on. So literally, I have only one cross stitch update for you today and a parade of quilts that I'd like to share with you. There are actually not finished quilts that I've done, but quilts that are in, um, in progress. Um, and boy, there are a lot. Um, the ones that I'm going to share with you today are quilts that are almost done. <laughs> um, and it's kind of surprising that I have so many, you'll see. I don't know about you guys, but I, for me, January is a month that I can just do without. I feel like January is kind of, you're recuperating from the holidays, you know, you have uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. There's just a lot going on at the end of the year. Um, so I feel like January is kind of a recuperating time. And February, we all get excited for February, or at least I do. Um, some of my favorite colors are red and pink. And um, that leads into a new start I have. Let's get started with the cross stitch project that I've been working on. It's a new one. It's called Delightful Pink Roses by Leslie Tier, and this is what it looks like. Now this is not usually something uh, that's my style, but I felt like working on something floral, um, something romantic. Uh, February is coming up and this is uh, where I am right now. If you can see it here. But this is stitched on, let me check my notes, um, thir a 36 count linen and the color is sand dune. I don't remember who it's from. But I'm using all the called for DMC and I am changing it though, if you recall in the pattern. It's a pillow, sorry, it's a, it's a pillow of four roses. But what I've decided to do is stitch the roses individually um, so that I have them as individual pieces. And I'm modifying the border. This, I don't know if you can see this light green border, I am uh, modifying the pattern so that it would go around the individual rows. Um, so that's my one cross stitch update. Um, I have been working on a couple of other things. I've worked on some project bags, this clear project bags. with the vinyl front, zipper. I put my, made one, this one, with French General Fabrics, and I put my Barbara Anna Designs stuff in there, and she's still on the hoop. Sorry, did I say hoop? On the frame, no progress from last time, still the same. And yeah, that's it. But I have been working on my quilting. Um, a friend of mine just had her baby yesterday and I am almost done with her quilt or the quilt for the baby actually. Um, but let's get into those now. Okay, I have readjusted the camera so that um, you'd be able to see more of the, um, the quilts since these are quite large. So the first one that I'm going to show you is the oldest one here out of the stack. And it is a design called XOXO. And the fabric is a line of fabric by Tula Pink called Prince Charming. So the printed fabrics are the Prince Charming fabric 
and the green is a Kona cotton, I believe. And I put this one down because it wasn't laying flat. I remember, um, yeah, I was looking at it to square it up and it wasn't laying flat. And I think the reason why it's not laying flat is because when you, cu when you cut fabric on the diagonal, you're on the bias. And when you're on the bias, there's a little more stretch in the fabric than when you cut on the grain or across the grain. So I think there was a little warping happening and it kind of discouraged me from continuing and finishing the quilting. But really, now that I look at it, all that it needs is uh, the quilting and it will be finished. So I should just pick this one back up. This next one was a design of my own, just a bunch of squares. And the thought behind this one was that I wanted to have a picnic quilt. And this fabric is by French General. And the line is um, La Petite Ecole, which means the little school in French. And it's a fairly large, it's a square, squares on squares. Picnic quilt. Um, I think I put this one down because I just got bored of it. And when I first saw the fabric, I was very excited that it had that kind of vintage faded look. Um, then I started working with it and I loved it. I love, I was, I um, really just loved the fabric. And then I put the fabric, the quilt together and I decided, oh, you know, I'm not that excited about it anymore. <laughs> so I moved on to another picnic quilt because I still wanted a picnic quilt. And again, it's a square. It's a design of my own, again, um, just a, some squares. Put together and again the fabric is French general and this is more like a medallion quilt and a medallion quilt is when you do something in the center when you have a border and then a border that just kind of grows out so this one is a little more on the patriotic side red white and blue Again, French general fabrics, and I think this line is Panier des Fleurs, which means the basket of flowers. Um, when I first started quilting, I discovered French, French general fabrics, and they were my favorite. Like, I have almost every collection they've released. Um, and I still love them. Now this one is another quilt that's made up of squares. And um, this one I had no plan. I just kind of went with it as I was going and started cutting fabrics. And I happened to make this one long strip and I don't even remember what I was doing with this one and why it's so long and narrow. But I'll show you half and then the other half. So this is a mix of different fabrics. I don't remember the line specifically, but they are all free spirit fabrics. Um, you know, I don't know. I think I think this one I just started. I got distracted by something else that I was working on, and then um, just never picked it up again. Now this fabric is further along. These the, the first four that I showed you are quilt tops, and this one 
is actually a quilt sandwich. And what a quilt sandwich is, is the top, the quilt top with the batting and the backing. And this one is basted together with pins, safety pins. And this one, again, is another um, line by French, French General, and it is Maison de Gaons. And I started the quilting, actually. <laughs> I have all the vertical quilting done, and now I need to do the horizontal quilting. I was just doing basic straight line quilting on this one. And I think this one is intended to be a gift for someone. And they still haven't gotten it, but they don't know they're getting it, so. This quilt top, this quilt top was inspired by a sketch that someone did at work, at my office. And it was a ske architectural sketch done in just highlighters. And when I saw that, I was like, that is such a beautiful color palette that I decided I wanted to do a highlighter um, palette quilt. And mind you, it wasn't, you know, the green and yellow and orange highlighters, but it was all the, the shades of purple and pink and blue and turquoise. So this is another medallion quilt. The design is my own. Um, started getting a little crazy. And I put this one down because I just wanted to work on other things. And I did, and I just haven't picked this one back up, but I think I will. So that's this one. Now this one, it isn't, the quilt top isn't finished. I still need to add more rows according to the, to the design in my head. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. So this fabric was um, a combination of tulip pink fabrics, tulip pink and Anna Maria Horner. Some of their older lines. Well, back then it wasn't old. They were current. Um, this quilt, quilt top, is another French general. This is a, a pattern by French general, and the fabric is French general fabrics. Um, and the line is uh, Rue Indien, or Rue Indian, Rue Indian. Um, and as you can see, I have one of the borders sewn on, which is this red here. And it just needs the borders on the other three sides, and it's ready for quilting. This is a smaller quilt, so I think this is going to be a table topper, tablecloth, maybe, maybe a small picnic quilt even. The quilt that I mentioned earlier, a friend of mine had a baby, and my friend is very into bright colors. So I made this quilt for her baby. Um, the quilt top is done. I need to get the back done and turn it into a quilt. The quilt line, the fabric line here is two of pink. Two of our fabric lines. Um, one is the true, the color, bright colors are true colors by two of pink. And the black and white is uh, called Line Work, also by Tula Pink. Just a nice, small, baby-sized quilt appropriate for a baby. This, if you've seen my um, last video, this was the quilt that was hanging behind me. And this quilt is based on a pattern by Fig Tree and Company. 
called Catalina Stars. So I basically uh, was inspired by their design, but I modified it um, by changing the proportions of these patch, the patchwork in between the stars. And this is a Christmas, uh, several Christmas bundles. So it's not a particular fabric line. Um, but this happens to be a fan favorite. And by fans, I mean friends and family who've seen it. Everybody loves it. So there may be more of these in the future. So now we're down to two more quilts that are on the verge of being completed. Now these have already been quilted and just need the binding added on. And this one was a labor of love. And it is one of my favorite quilts that I've made so far. And it is called um, Woodland Wonderland. And the design is by Fig Tree and Company. And the fabrics are various fig tree fabrics. The background is a chambray. And this was a block of the month. And what a block of the month is, is it's a series put on usually by the designer or sometimes by a quilt shop. This, in this case, it was um, fig tree, where you receive patterns for certain blocks every month. And the quilt is a mystery until you get the patterns and start putting them together. So this was one of those. And I actually sent this one out to be professionally long arm quilted um, because I wanted something, a design that I couldn't do. I guess I could have done, but didn't know how to do on my own. And if you can see, it's like a wood grain quilting. I don't know if you can see it from this camera angle, but this one is done. I backed it with like a buffalo check, buffalo style check on point on the diagonal. So it has that really woodland look. I just need to trim it up and put the binding on and this one is ready to go. Okay, and this next one is another Fig Tree and Company um, design. So the pattern is by Fig Tree and Company. It's called Sea an Enemy. And the fabric line is also by Fig Tree and Company called Catalina. And I put this quilt top together last summer. So it was my summertime um, project. And I did it in patriotic colors because the design reminded me of fireworks. So I did that in fireworks. This one was also sent out to be professionally um, quilted on her long arm. And my quilter did a beautiful job. Um, yeah, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, sorry. So I have one more project to show you. And for that, I will come around to um, the other side. The last quilt work in progress that I wanted to share with you are these little coasters called um, Christmas Tide Coasters. Christmas Tide Coasters is the name of the pattern. And the design is by um, Joe Morton. So there's just these pieced Christmas coasters that are um, done with Japanese wovens that I got one year at a quilt show. These two um, just need to have the binding edges sewn on. Um, and I'll be done. <laughs> um, but I think I need to make a couple more. Anyways, these are for Christmas, so I have until next year. Um, those are all the 
works in progress that I have. I have others actually that are in um, not sewn together as quilt tops, so they're a little more um, of a mess to show. So I'll save those until until they're further along. Um, I am working though on a new quilt. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you may have seen a February themed quilt that I started working on. Um, this one is going a lot slower than I had hoped and it's because I'm kind of just designing it in my head based on um, uh, blocks that I've seen from places like Moda Blockheads, um, other tutorials online. Um, that's kind of how I imagine things and then start to put things together. So after going through my projects for this video, I've decided that this is going to be the year for tackling some of these works in progress. I also have several um, knitting projects in various stages of um, progress that I wanted to share with you, but we'll save that for another video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Quilt Works in Progress Parade, and until next time, bye-bye now.